Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn the basic commands that is DDL commands, data definition language, DML commands, data manipulation language, DCL commands, data control language, TCL commands, transaction control language, and some basic constraints. In DDL commands, we are going to learn create, alter, drop, etc. In DML, we are going to learn select, insert, etc. In DCL commands, we are going to learn grant and revoke. And in the TCL commands, we are going to learn commit and rollback. Coming over to the constraints, there we are going to learn primary key, foreign key, not null, check, etc. So, Start this video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a half, and then yeah. So let's start this video. SQL commands. Okay. So there are majorly five categories of SQL commands. First one is data definition language. That is DDL commands. So as the name suggests, DDL commands are the commands which actually define the data. Okay. So the first command is create. So this command is actually used to create a database. I'll show you a rough image of how a database look like. Okay. So let's draw a diagram. this is somewhat a database would look like it will have some columns these columns would have some names like let's suppose it would be roll number this would be name id and uh, say for phone number so what are these attributes so as I told you in the previous videos also that database is actually used to store some data. So these data is stored in this format. Okay. So this would be a data of any person say for um, role number one name is Hardik. Let ID be 1532 phone number XYZ and so on. And there would be some multiple records. So create command is actually used to create this outer thing or you can say this box, the database. Okay. Let's come on to the next command, alter. So alter command is actually used to change the size or you can say, <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Alter command is actually used to manipulate or mm -hmm, mm -hmm, cut again. Sorry, sorry. Alter command, as the name suggests, it is actually used to alter the size of the existing database. Like, let's suppose you want to alter the or you want to actually decrease the size of this database then alter command would be used 
okay coming on to the next command say for the next command is drop so what is actually drop command drop command is actually used to drop a separate or you can say like let's suppose i want to drop this row phone row so drop command would actually be used to drop this row okay now what is truncate then see truncate is also a bit similar to drop it is again used to delete the data from the database so now the question arises then what is the difference between drop and truncate so drop actually deletes a specific row whereas truncate deletes the whole data okay now coming over to the rename command so the next command is rename command in this command as the name suggests this command is actually used to rename the database like let's suppose the name of this database was accu okay so if i want to change this name to say for hello then the rename command is used to change the name coming on to the next one so the next one is dml that is data manipulation commands so as the name suggests these commands are actually used to manipulate the data okay these commands were actually used to modify the database but these commands are used to modify the data understand the difference Mod modify the database modify data we'll go one by one so first command is select so let's clear this select is actually the most important command in mysql so this command is actually used to display is used to display certain data say for if i talk about this database if i want to display this whole row then i would be using the select command okay so i would like to tell you one more thing it is dml command i told you no somewhere on internet it is also given that it is dql command that is data query language okay there is actually a huge debate on internet to why not call it a dml why call it dql and then there is also debate why to not call it dql and call it dml so honestly it does not even matter whether we call it dml or dql okay so coming on to the next one next one is insert so insert it is used to insert the data in tb okay say for if i want to add this thing to 1 3 and say for h r c phone b x 989 and class b 9 so what we are doing we are actually inserting the data inside the table so this would be done with the help of insert command only okay coming on to the next one the next one is update so update it is used to update the data okay so now you please do not get confused in between these three words that is one drop truncate and update okay so first of all i'll again tell you drop is used to drop a certain column from the database the database say for if i want to remove this role then i can use drop so another thing would be if i want to remove this whole table then i would be using the truncate if i want to remove this whole table then i would be using truncate coming on to the next one that is update 
so if i want to update a certain data say for i want to update the roll number of a specific person then i would be using the update command okay coming on to the next one delete delete i clear the frame delete is used to delete certain data okay if i want to delete this data i want to delete these data or if i want to delete this data then i want be using delete command coming on to the next one that is data control language as the name suggests these commands are used to control the data let's talk about the first one that is grant so grant it is used to grant the power or say some features the data okay and revoke is actually the opposite of it opposite of grant okay opposite of grant let's come on to the next one tcl that is transaction control language so these are all the asset properties now what are asset properties you learn that in the upcoming videos so first one is commit so commit commit it is used to save the data what is the next one that is rollback so rollback it is used to go back to the to the previous state to the previous state i'll tell you what does that mean say for you were at this position okay and now you made certain changes but you felt that it is wrong so then the use of rollback will come it will actually roll back to the previous state or you can understand it as control z or undo okay next one is save point so save point it is used to save in between transactions okay coming on to the next one that is constraints so first one is primary key before understanding what is primary key we need to understand unique and not null so we'll start with this one unique so if we say unique again as the name says in that column that column the values need to be unique say for in this case if this roll number is set to be unique roll then if it has an entry 1 and an entry 2 then i cannot put an entry which is having a roll number 1 or 2 i need to put something different from this okay so that is what is a unique key coming on to the next one that is not null okay so not null as the name says it is used to set that the column cannot have null values 
Now what does that mean? Say for in this, I say that okay, my third entry is three and I kept this empty and let this be x, y, z and the number be 980 and the class be eight. So I have kept this as empty. Now what if I had kept the ID column as not null, then I would not be able to keep this value as empty. I need to assign certain value. Okay. I'll talk about one more thing that is default. So default is somewhat complementing to not null. So if certain column, if certain column has null value, then default sets the default value. What is default value? You can say a predefined or a certain value which we can as def we, which we can set as default. Okay. Now this is done. Now let's come on to the primary key. So what is primary key? I'll tell you a little bit about it rest will cover in the upcoming videos so primary key as the definition says it should be not null and unique okay so let's suppose if i set this column as my primary key okay so what is actually primary key primary key actually helps you to identify the data with the help of that say for I have set my roll number as primary key so if I want to add another entry that should be not equal to one two three and it should not be null say for I have kept four okay and let the other values be something something so the primary key actually helps you to identify data with the help of it so we know that the roll number one has these properties. Roll number two has these properties. So this is somewhat what a primary key is. Okay. Now let's come on to the foreign key. So foreign key, as the definition says, foreign key for one table is primary key for another say I'll take an example in this and uh, say for I take one more example let this be of admin this be of library role class section and let this be phone roll one and two class eight eight and section b a and b phone b nine eight zero and nine eight one and now in the library let this be roll and this be book say for roll number one has actually issued a book mm, say for Prince Charles this is the imaginary book or I'm not sure because I'm not very fond of books so yeah coming on to the next one let this be two and say for seven C's and one more entry for one say for uh, chickens might be an imaginary book again so now this was actually the primary key for this table and this is actually the foreign key for this table and you might be knowing this cannot be the primary key for this table because it has certain not unique values also so primary key for certain table is foreign key for another table so if i want to make it a bit more simpler primary sorry foreign key is actually used for connecting two tables or establishing a link between two tables okay let's come on to the next one that is check 
so check as the name says it is used to check whether a column has certain value or not say for i want to check whether this column has value 9 or not okay so yeah uh, don't worry we'll learn these implementations in the upcoming videos so that's all for this video we'll meet you in the next one